About seven to eight years ago, um, McKay Manufacturing was experienced declining sales, uh, increased demand from customers for reduced margins. So we were facing reduced profit margins on our end, yet the customer was demanding a price reduction from us as well. And this was something that we saw as an ongoing process. So we needed to decide what we were going to do in order to keep up and keep competitive in the industry. So we heard about this lean manufacturing thing. We didn't know what it was, but we thought we better look into it. So we started reading about it, researching, uh, talking to consultants. We read several books. Um, when we decided that our owner, Mike McKay, decided at that point that McKay Manufacturing was going to go down and start our lean journey. So we got our management staff on board. We read lots of books. We had lots of training with our lean consultant at the time. At that point, we had 100% buy-in, which is absolutely necessary. You have to be all in. We brought our team. At McKay on board, everybody started reading the book, The Goal. And so we started with just the very beginning things. We started with 5S, we started cleaning, organizing. And by doing so, we started with our spaghetti charts. We started reducing our footprint. It sounds strange, but we started in our shipping and receiving department. And by doing that, we were able to, we had seven people in that department, we took it down to five. And we never lost anybody due to lean. What we were able to do is take two of those shipping and receiving people move them out into the shop floor to become production people so we could start selling more parts. In the course of the last eight years that we've been doing lean, our sales have doubled, yet our employee count has only gone up about 30 to 40 percent. We've been able to stay in our same facility. Eight years ago we thought we were out of room. Our inventory turns have quadrupled. We're at about 99.6 percent quality acceptance rating from our customers. Our on-time delivery is about 90 5%. Lean has enabled us to reduce our setup times. We have a lot of, um, we have a department that this just makes our tooling so that we can practice our, our single minute exchange of dies. Um, in a job shop environment, a lot of people think that we can't embrace lean because we're a job shop. We don't make the same product over and over. Neither do we. We have hundreds and hundreds of different part numbers that we manufacture every month. Some are lathes, some are mill, some are welded, lasers, assembly. But what we do is we go into the lean manufacturing process, we take what we can. Um, just, you, can you may not be able to implement the entire lean philosophy. We don't make toasters all day long. But what we can take helps us. It saves um, our cost, it saves our scrap, it eliminates the waste that's in that process. Lean is a way of thinking in a way of life. It's ever changing. We're constantly evolving. We're constantly trying to improve our process. We try to get a lot of buy-in from our employees, it's not going to work if the employees aren't buying into the process, if they're not embracing it, um, wanting to make the processes better. We try to standardize as much as we can to eliminate any waste, eliminate any scrap. Um, so for us, lean has become a way of life. Uh, it's not over. We'll continue for the rest of our lives to implement what we can to continually improve our process.